In today's briefing on communities of practice, we're going to take a look at the community map as well as recommended resources. From the homepage, you're able to click community map, which will give you an outline of the topics in communities of practice. Essentially, it serves as a table of contents. The content itself and its currency is based on the facilitators acting in the communities as well as resources that might be provided. Today, let's take a look at Ag Education Advocacy. When we visit this community, we can see that it tells us additional resources as well in that there's an Agriculture Advocacy Unit Plan. This group is made mainly of posts helping us be better advocates for our agricultural education program. If we take a look at the most recent issue, we'll notice that it's based on virtual Congress visits and hyperlinked to several resources to help us stay current and to be advocates for agriculture and career and technical education. When there are posts, we have the ability to like a post as well as provide a comment. Additionally, at the bottom of posts, whether they're blogs or documents, related content will be provided as well as recommended content. The recommended content is based mainly on your experiences in communities of practice and other content that you have visited, liked, or commented on. 